like to present the latest LRP products to you. Let's start with the Spin Zero. Most of you are most likely aware with the Spin family of speed controls. This is the latest member meant for uh, stock racing. So it's a Boost Zero only speed control. It has all the known spin functions, such as a simple easy touch setup, an integrated design with the power capacitor on board, so there is nothing hanging off. Um, adjustable LiPo cutoffs, obviously. It is capable of 1S and 2S batteries. We have a solder post to attach to wires. We have 14 gauge wires with no connectors, so meant for real racing. It's a simple adjustment, as said, boost zero only, so no power profiles adjustable, blinky only. The only two adjustments you have is the cutoff voltage for no cutoff, 1S LiPo or 2S LiPo, and an adjustable uh, drag brake function. All the rest is fixed, so simple for you guys. Um, we have a pluggable fan as well, in case you guys would like to use a fan. And the speed control, the Spin Zero, is rated above 7.5 turns. The Spin Zero is obviously also splash proof, so you can run it in moist conditions. Um, it's USB, USB updatable, so the latest firmware updates, in case there are some, you can uh, download from the website and using the LR, you can uh, put the latest firmware on. And the speed control also has a strong switching BEC, which is rated at 6 volt 2 amps to power the latest servos as well. The next product I would like to show you guys is the Vector K7 motor. It's the, the junior member of the brushless motor family. It's meant for the parking lot racer or hobby driver or stock racing. So it's not a full-blown competition motor. We use the same motor in our RTR kits. So it is a good wind, available in six different turns, from 21.5 to down to 6.5. So you guys can select for any application, no matter if uh, short course trucks or off-road two-wheel drive or touring cars or whatever you need, there's a K7 wind for you guys. Depending on the number of turns, they are rated from 1S to either 2S or up to 4S for the higher turns. And the motor has a, a, an aluminum housing. It is fully rebuildable, uh, straightforward and simple design, which is easy to maintain. We have a sintered neodymium magnet, which provides high power and high torque. It's a standard 540 size and weight, so it fits into all the vehicle. It shares the Prezi sensor system with the latest X20 motor, so a very precise alignment of the sensor for best control. Um, the power wires, it's an easy solder design with U-taps, so you can easily replace the wires yourself. And it can be operated with sensored and sensorless speed control.